did I have a, a zero point warning? So it just sends out a warning instead of taking away a point. And I had to give one sweet boy a warning and he cried. So that's where we're at. <laughs> we're not doing fall on anything yet. I said, no, sweetie, if you fall, you just stand back up. <laughs> oh, I'm getting emotional. I really, really appreciate everybody who has been so kind and generous and has been sending things to us. Good morning. It is Monday. Got my lunch. Don't know where my lunch box went and it's going to be a really, really great day. It's about 5.30 right now. This is that no lunch box life. <laughs> Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene from Mrs. Calls Canvers and today is Monday and it's very special because it is August 13th and it is going to be my very first full week of school. I mean, I am so excited. So I got here early because I have a lot to do. So I need to go ahead and get busy. I was going to come yesterday on Sunday and it didn't end up happening. And honestly, I'm glad I did it because I don't need to spend every waking minute in my classroom. I don't. So I'm here. I'm going to get busy. I have to do some copies. I have to get their binders ready. I have to get our PowerPoint set up for the day. I have to do, I'm sure, like 20 other things. So we're just going to, we're just going to go for it. <laughs> Something you guys should know about me is I have like the worst style, but you guys said you wanted to see what I wore. So I'm just going to tell you. All right. So <laughs> this outfit um, this is from Target. These are from J. Crew, and I got them because I saw them on the Lettered Classrooms teacher vlogs and they looked perfect and they are. I can wear them like three or four times before I have to wash them because they just like they hold their shape. They're really, really nice pants from J. Crew. So this is from American Eagle. Are they the most like work friendly shoes? No, they're just flats and that's just what I have. My lanyard is obviously Vera Bradley and I don't know, that's all I, I don't know how to do these things guys, but this is what I'm wearing today. So this is what my PowerPoint looks like in the morning. I highlight all of the words that are sight words for us. And then these are the two choices they have to build using their stem bins. And then they just sign over their name. So basically they're tracing their name every morning to sign in. Okay, so the kids are at specials, met with our literacy coach, and she kind of described how we are going to start testing our kids to see where they're at. I'm going to try to roll out <laughs> some setters today. I don't have my library labeled, so I feel so bad, but I'm gonna show them a little bit about our library, talk about it, and I will update you <laughs> on how this is gonna go. Just dropped the kids off at lunch, and I'm learning very quickly how short these lunches are, so I'm only gonna talk to you for a quick second before I eat my leftover Chinese food. I am learning very quickly to make transitions as minimal as possible. It's very hard to move 20 bodies from one place to another quickly. So we're working on that right now, I think, is my main focus. Transitioning. <laughs> it is, it's tough, and because they all want to be at the same place at the same time, but we're working on our otter activity. It's a little otter body, and I have the head and the tail that they'll color and cut out. Uh, classmates should be kind to each other with their heart. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay. So we read the book do unto otters and we talked about like what we want our classmates to be like and they said things like respect say nice things be a leader yes um, be responsible be kind listen be polite then I had them choose one thing to write about and then we said why now we're gonna color <laughs> I was gonna go over centers today and I think I will but it'll be very very brief but that's how our day has been. I have launched Dojo um, and it's been going well. I have had to pull it out more often than not, but I think a lot of them are kind of getting it. And I have a, a zero point warning, so it just sends out a warning instead of taking away a point. And I had to give one sweet boy a warning and he cried. 
so that's where we're at. <laughs> this is really random, but when I was leaving my apartment complex this morning at like, I don't even know what time, 5.30ish, they were standing out there with a bag full of goodies, like donuts and a granola bar and a Rice Krispie treat. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast too because I never ate it. I'm really bad at that. <laughs> And just like that, our day is done. I'm gonna hang up their otters and plan a little bit for tomorrow. And actually, I think I have a meeting. I should probably go to that. I opened some packages with the kids today and I just wanted to show you guys what we got and what they were excited about. So one of the things is from someone named Tyler, I think. I think his name is Tyler. Um, and he sent us some more watercolors. Somebody had sent us watercolors and paintbrushes and they were so excited about that. And then we got the rest of the watercolors today. Um, and he says he's in the Navy in Japan right now. And so we will be emailing some pictures of the watercolor that we do whenever we start doing that. And they <laughs> absolutely loved it. We got Jabari Jumps. And I wrote on the inside who it was from. So thank you again to the Armbruster family. Um, Shelbyville is really close to where I'm from and so I think that's really really cool and really really special and the kids are so excited to read this book. I did a little picture walk with them and they were super excited about it so I cannot wait to teach this one. We also got some pencils and these are just some like special mechanical pencils that I want to use for guided reading. Um, the lead is really really good and it doesn't break very easy and they just like it. It's just more fun than a regular pencil so these are the very special pencils that we will be using at guided reading and they were thrilled about that we start centers really really soon so they're really excited to start doing that and we got a pandas reader and one of the sweet little girls said that's my favorite animal and it's just that's why I wanted to get a bunch of these is so that all the students could find something, something they wanted to read about. So I have a section in my library now for the National Geographic readers and we've gotten a couple so far and it just feels so nice to know that so many people care about us. Um, we also got sent some Unifix cubes and this is really, really helpful because they, we have some Unifix cubes now but the ones we have now are like, there are a bunch of different kinds and they don't all snap together. So they were just donated to me by, from another teacher. So having these will help because first of all, we'll have more and second of all, they all go together. Like they're all in the same set. So that is so, so helpful. And then labels. And this is such a teacher thing to be. Hi. So yeah, I'm really excited about these because I haven't been able to label their folders or any of their books yet because I haven't had labels so I appreciate this so so much so I want to say thank you again to Tyler thank you again to Ashley I don't think I said your name earlier <laughs> Ashley Stebbins thank you so so much and someone else wrote me this note but they didn't leave their name so I don't know who it's from, but it's the note that says, Hi Maylene, thanks for your YouTube and Instagram posts. Accept this gift in gratitude for giving me some great ideas to take back to my classroom in September. I'll be watching to see how your first year goes. Have a great year. I don't know who sent this because Amazon doesn't put a name on it. So if that was you, please reach out to me and let me know because I so, 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 so appreciate it. And again, I really appreciate the Armbrister family sending us these books. I mean, every time we get a package, the kids are hoping it's books. So I have chills just thinking about it. They get so excited about books. And I introduced them to our library today. And I made sure to tell them, like, you know, Miss Call bought some of these books, but a lot of people have been donating books to our classroom. And we have this conversation every day because it's so important that they understand that they need to take really, really good care about these of these books and that so many people all over the world care about them. So we're going to roll out our library officially tomorrow. I'll show you the labels that I made. They're very simple labels that I'm just going to cut out and put on the front of the bins. Um, unfortunately, I cannot put these in my TPT store because of the images. They're copyrighted and I don't have the rights. I, oh, and I printed off some border. 
for my bulletin board, so I'm gonna laminate that too. Where's the rest of my labels? Ah, okay. I'll so, show you a couple of them. Classics, I have another Dr. Seuss. ABCs and one, two, threes. Animals, little critter. Moon Bear and Franklin are like combined. Um, if you give a mouse of cookie books, froggy books, thank you so much to everybody who sent those froggy books. Genius books, which is just like my social studies category right now, but it's so broad and varied that I didn't want to call it just like history or social studies, so I called it genius books. <laughs> Family and friends dinosaurs so I have just a couple different categories and like I said I cannot put these on teachers pay teachers if you would like the labels I'll send you what I have so you can delete the pictures and edit the text I'll send you what font I used um, it's a kg font <laughs> but just email me call the teacher at gmail.com subject line library labels and I will send them to you for free to use in your classroom um, I just really like them and I can't sell them and I would love to give them to you guys but I can't sell them so today the plan is plan for tomorrow get the labels made laminate my library labels laminate my border probably not hang up my border but laminate it and <laughs> figure out this desk area because it is a hot mess and it's three o'clock and I have to go to a meeting so <laughs> all right guys <laughs> time to break out the laminator <laughs> All right, you guys, check it out. It looks so good. On the top shelf is where I am storing our readers. And I wanna to talk to you about that in just a second. And then all of these are the categories of books that I have. Now that my library is all put together, mostly. The only thing I'm missing is labeling the individual book and <laughs> Now I'm kind of like, I don't really want to do it. Here's the thing. I had a big long talk with my kids today about our library and about how special our library was and about how so many people have donated books to our library from all over the world. And we, and I pretty much tried to stress how important our library was um, and that we take really, really good care of our books. And I think they will. Whether they keep them organized is another thing we need to work on. Um, I basically kind of told them whatever book you pull the bin out of, that's the book it goes back in. I told them I was going to have labels. I showed them the labels. Now they're labeled. I originally wanted to have stickers on all the books with the same picture that was on the label. So like Elephant Piggy would have this sticker even though they're both on the front. But you know what I mean. But I kind of just want to see how it goes. We do have our little library fairy she's like up on the bookshelf that might help a little bit um i do have one kid who's like that that's not a fairy she's she's not in there but all the other kids are buying it so it's fine with me but yeah i've had a lot of people not a lot i've had probably like three people tell me that it's pointless to organize my library and the kids are just gonna mess it up and they're not gonna take care of things and i'm really really sorry to those people who have had terrible experiences with their library the library is a really, really important place for me, and it's, you know, the foundations of a classroom, which is why I have wanted our library to be filled with things that they love to read and that they want to read, um, which is why I have two elephant piggy sections, because, well, I only have five books, but I'm, I'm really hoping to get some more, so I made it a bin. But it, it should be a place that's really, really special and really important to them, um, and it's really special and really important to me, and so I feel like if you have a library and your kids are not treating it the way it should be treated your expectations for them aren't high enough kids can keep a library organized i promise they can promise um whether or not mine need the pictures on the individual books we're gonna find out we're gonna try it how it is because guys kids love structure and they love 
rules. They really do. And they notice when other kids are not following the rules. That's why there's so much tattling that goes on. And I think that if I stress enough how important it is that you know the books go back where they belong. This is how we take the book bin down. This is how we pick a book. This is how we put it back. I really think my kids are gonna get it. Who cares if they're in first grade? Who cares? Kindergartners can keep a library organized. I promise. The next thing I wanted to talk about, um, this is something I debated on for a little while before I decided. My leveled readers are at the top of my library. <sighs> Originally, I was gonna label them a, B, C, D, E, F, G, through J, because first grade goes through J on the readers. But then, um, Julie Simone came and talked to us at a PD, and she talked about what level libraries do to hurt kids and not necessarily help them. Yes, it is nice for kids to be able to look at a section and know, oh, there's a book here that I can read, but she kind of just made me think twice about it. Now I feel like it's more important for students to be able to pick up a book and realize that book is a good book, it's a good choice, or it's not a good choice. And I feel like not only does that create more independence in kids, but it creates more self-awareness. And you know, really across the levels, it there's some wiggle room. So like a C and a D, there's some wiggle room there. Just because they're on a level C doesn't necessarily mean they can't read this one level D book. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys if you aren't familiar with the levels. But I decided to just label my leveled readers. Readers are leaders and it says it on every single one. <laughs> Originally I was going to do um, book box one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I was kind of nervous that they would still kind of catch on to like book box one was easy and book box you know seven was harder so I just decided not to do it and I'm gonna see if it works in my room and if it is something that <laughs> becomes a problem or is too difficult or just doesn't work then we'll change it that's okay but this is my library right now and I'm super super excited about it we're starting like full-on not full on. <laughs> we're not doing full on anything yet. Um, we're starting centers tomorrow. So basically I taught them today how to use our word work center. I showed them two options that they have right now. Technically it's like one, two, three, four options because I have the easel where they can write the words on the whiteboard. They can build the words with magnetic letters and I showed them two of my word work worksheets that are in my store if you'd like them. I think I have like 40 different options right now. Um, so there's a ton to get you through the whole year and they're all simple. All you do is just write the words. That what changes is how you write the words or where you write the words. So it's super, super easy to show your kids. But yeah, so I showed them word work and we read for five minutes today independently. And what I did was I told them choose a spot in the room only six people in the library which six probably sounds like a lot to you guys but there's a lot of room in my library I made sure it was a nice big big space for them um, so I let them choose the space anywhere in the room introduced the scoop rockers which went so well so well I hadn't let them try them until today because it's just a lot and I didn't want to like set them up for failure um, so we did scoop rockers and yoga balls today and they did phenomenal with it so so they chose a spot in the room some of them chose the scoop rockers on the rug some of them chose to just sit on the leaf rug and like lean against the wall a lot of them wanted to try out the library because it was like the first day it was open which is totally understandable um, they liked our little reading buddies you can't see them some of them wanted to read at their desk some of them wanted to sit at the guided reading table which was where I was so I was sitting at my table and we had the whole discussion about, you know, what did you do in centers for kindergarten? Were you allowed to go up to your teacher and things like that? And then we talked about reasons they would be allowed to come up to me during guided reading, which is things like, you know, bleeding or other emergencies like that. Someone said, if you fall, I said, no, sweetie, if you fall, you just stand back up. So I sat there with my book open at the table and I, I wasn't really reading. I was just kind of like reading a little bit and then mostly just looking around and I had like six kids come up to me and I said I'm sorry just shook my head and they just walked away and 
it was fun everybody was reading um, so our goal for tomorrow probably gonna be like six or seven minutes reading and we're gonna practice some more word work but man y'all today was such a good day and I feel like it was such a good day because it feels like it was really the first day that felt normal and yes I'm still practicing my classroom management um, transitions are hard for me right now just because during transitions like if we move even from the carpet to seating they just want to talk and then everybody talks and then they get loud um, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit better about that but they are doing really really well with our voice levels and the visuals and whenever I like put it on I'm really good about putting the voice levels on but then I forget it's on and I always have this one sweet boy who's like and then I call him and he says and he points to the side and I'm like thank you I'm gonna kill the batteries on that so quick because <laughs> I keep forgetting to turn it off but things are going really 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 well and I can't wait to see what things are like here in September when we're moving and we're on a roll and I was talking to my mentor teacher I was like we did like maybe two things today and she said part of that is because they're just slow like they're not used to doing things yet they're just kind of slow and I said oh that makes so much sense like obviously because it's taking us 10 minutes to get to one activity to the next but all that will be brushed up and fixed and I think I'm gonna start setting goals um, like to see how quickly we can do things today was the first day we got our binders because I finally put their covers in and like <laughs> put things in our folders to go home and packed up and y'all it was was not pretty of course it's my fault because I didn't model first like how to open your binder and how to do this I just told them to put something in their folder and they were looking at me like which folder what do I do with it I was like sorry guys <laughs> this is how you do it so you know I'm learning those things and you know some of the things that they know really surprise you and then some of the things that they don't know really surprise you so we need to work really hard on our end of the day packing up routine and transitions and those are goals for myself so yeah I'm looking around my room right now and I'm just seeing stuff that needs to get done all I know is I'm having a great time in here with them and I really really appreciate every oh, I'm getting emotional I really really appreciate everybody who has been so kind and generous and has been sending things to us for our classroom it I have goosebumps it just it blows my mind I cannot believe it thank you so much and it really does mean a lot to them too they love it they love knowing people care about them I pulled out the globe today and I showed them like where Ireland was and Japan and Australia and all these places that people were sending things to us from and they were like how did they do that so that was my day today first day of the first full week of school so I'm gonna water my plants straighten things up a little bit and go home because my husband is making ribs and I'm so excited and I need to spend some time with him so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you are enjoying these teacher vlogs I know I just started so you might be thinking there's something she definitely needs help with and if you have any advice for me go ahead and leave it down below because I so 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 appreciate it all right guys I'll talk to you later